Yeah. At least outside. Oh, in the we filter. forgot to take the fender off the pre bug to send to have it replicated. Then. Oh whatever. <laughs> every it's every it's time gonna, it's, it's not gonna fit mine anyway. Something different. It won't. I have big wheels. You and your big wheels. Right. Uh, caliper. Okay, so. What am I gonna do, Paul? What am I? What should I do today? I thought you. I thought you were gonna do the pre-button. I probably should, huh? Get it. Get it done. Dirty old motor. You need to clean this thing. Yeah. Look at look how dirty. Look how oily the battery is. Yeah. It's pretty. What's bad. up, man? Is that? Keggy. Oh, that's a uh, Cody. Oh yeah. Hey, Marshall. I'm uh, trying to figure out a way to do this. And also, and also, don't break it. And also work on my own stuff because I always just film and you have it on the tripod. And I could just have it like because we're gonna pull this off the lift. I think. Could we hire? Could we get a bum from outside to walk around with the phone? Uh, I don't have a bum. I have a camera girl though. Do you? Tell her to come over and film her. us. We could call her. Yeah. She has live videos What's up, all Adam? The time. Tell her to come over here. Say we need someone to hold the camera. We'll give you yeah. fifty bucks. You know you're really good at doing live videos. Yeah. Hey, what's up, buddy? Uh, so, yeah, Paul, you guys have seen his his bike here. Um, um, yeah, Paul's Zuma. He's got the bigger wheels and stuff, so he's going to do a cylinder. Uh, C16 It's really good for the AF16. Um, if you get the DO swap, the DO one, of course, you can't just – they don't make C16s. We make them here. So, Caraco. Uh, I did sell a pipe to Max Johnson – it went within like a half an hour. So you need a hand there, homeboy? You want to give me a bolt here? Need to call you guys about a 12 horsepower, 15 bottom mount two stroke, my Derby Manhattan. I'm worried my crank is bad, can't get one. Uh, uh, they're not available. He oh, yeah, yeah, already, yeah, yeah. And they're not available. Yeah, not available. Derby stuff, guys, is. There was one just in here. That's an Atlantic, not a Manhattan. Yeah. Yeah, the Derby same, stuff, guys, same, same is is, idea, is really... Uh, oh, you are Max Johnson. That's funny. It says, Hyper Sleep Parallax, not Max Johnson. Um, nice and tight, so they don't fall off. They tight? They're really tight. Blue Loctite. Sweet. S20, the carb adapter. Oh, it's perfect. 19 is actually really good. A lot, of, a lot of times people oversize carbs on um, a lot of these bikes. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to show you guys. So, Paul's... Doing his, uh, we'll what? He was doing a cylinder doing a on cylinder. this bike. Uh, I'm a, I might do the gearbox tonight too. We'll see. Yeah. See how far, see how far we make it. So um, I probably won't get to work on any of my own stuff because it's just, it's too difficult to just have the phone. We'll and the But then you're going to be looking at the phone the whole time. That's fine. We'll, we'll both spend half the time with Will we? Paul, yeah. if we I give you it, it's going to be like this. No, the tripod. Yeah, but you're going to be like set, this. No, and, set the tripod on the floor just sitting there. We'll see. Um, the giveaway bikes, I don't even know where they are anymore. I don't know where uh, anything is. One tucked over there, and there's one tucked So we tucked a bunch of bikes in here. <laughs> this, this we're waiting on like one part for this guy. Um, S23 pipe for arrow is a bolt on. Yes. Um, the towel jet right here, guys, is getting a big board kit and a bunch of stuff. That's probably gonna start next week. I actually want to get back to working on this Dio because that's, um, she's been, didn't we steal some parts? Off that Dio for, yeah, we sold some brake parts for a customer. The runner has a flat tire. That's my shirt go. And that maybe, yeah, it has a coolant leak too. So on these, when you have coolant leaks on the the water pump seal, you actually have to split the case to get the seal out. Good thing we have plenty of water pump seals. Yeah, good thing we have plenty of water pump seals. So you're definitely a bummer on that. Um, no, the Dio used to have a Tillotson. It just has a PWK now. Hey, uh, thanks, buddy. Um, uh... That's a Sherco that that uh, the shippers wrecked, and so Paul's probably gonna trade his PCX for that, which is a good deal for him. Um, and then he's gonna track it; he's not gonna sell it. So we're gonna start tracking these bikes. This one's all. What's up, Nate? Uh, that one's all good to go. Well, no, actually, I robbed I robbed some parts off of my bike for a customer too. So these are things we do around here. Um, thanks, Roy. Appreciate it. Uh, so my bike. I don't even know what I'm doing with this thing. I'm going to use some different wheels and keep it drum because it uh, it 
having the drum front end, it just floats. The front end pops up so easy on this guy. So I'm just going to leave it drum, clean it up. What? Yeah, so, Paul, I can wheelie your bike further than you. We did this already. It, we did this already in a YouTube video. You told me, remember? And then I hopped on your bike for the first time, wheelied it further. It's a discount, though. Better, I trust it more. I'm actually getting better on it, and I have way more combos in here. Paul can do the combos. He's got me there. He can do the so combos. Time I put my foot all the way over the handlebars. Yeah, I recorded it. Oh, did you? Yeah, so my seat shaved. What's up, Zach? Um, my seat I shaved. Uh, I did a video on shaving that seat. Um, Eton Beamers. Uh, the, no. Yeah, the, if I were you, if you had an Eton, I would get a Minerale motor for because they, they when you get into the, to the Etons and stuff, they get really tricky. Uh, yeah, so I shaved this seat down. Paul, I, so get this, guys. Get this. I had my seat perfect, shaved it down, being the nice guy that I am. Um, guy, uh, Future Luna says, I want to see some stand-up wheelies. Paul cut his rack for it. I cut my rack. Well, yeah, my, my Zoom is all taken apart right now. I'm pretty sure my motor mount's bent. Um, How many times have you crashed that bike? Three. <laughs> there's one, it's been crashed a few times. So there's one time, the first time, I was going downhill and I took my left hand off and I went to grab the brake and it just wasn't there. I've done that. Uh, and then... No, I guess only You slid out. Oh, yeah, your rotor bolt backed out, right? No, the caliper bolt. <laughs> caliper bolt the backed caliper out. grabbed the wheel and stopped it. So twice. Fast, and it flipped over. And then a buddy rode it, and uh, hey, his name's actually Buddy. Um, and he, like, almost looped it out, but not quite. I feel like there was another time. You may be thinking of when I crashed that a couple weeks ago. No, I feel like I, I remember seeing the Zuma just, like... <laughs> Ghost ride? So, I, so Paul... Had an, so Paul came over one night to my house and he wanted to stretch this seat cover on and we realized it was the wrong fit. It, so I let it, him steal my seat. He stole my seat, well, you, you right? Spare, another spare one too. That'd be yeah, but yeah. he stole my seat for the evening and then he threw his foam on my bike and didn't put my seat back on. Well, I didn't want to like bolt it down. It makes no sense to bolt it down there. But I can't have a rideable bike now because he stole my seat, which is over here. Oh, so this is my seat over here, upside down, getting all dirty. Dang, this, so it's what? Actually, it's fine. Ooh, this is... Uh, Zach West asked if he saw his Elite video. I did. Very nice. <laughs> Paul's the king of awkward, if you guys don't know. Um, I don't know what else to say. Yeah, he's... he's he just showed me a video of it running. He's a special fella. Uh, I, these... I just, I open stuff and I forget to respond to it. Yeah. It's usually working. Yeah, we're like, our brains get pretty smoked in here today. This is turning out pretty cool. Um, uh, this this is the Spider-Man themed one. Tons of work, guys. And we've just been really struggling to get everything done. Yeah, kind of just just been a lot of work. Um, oh, yeah, S23 Ignition is really good for the pre bug It's cheap for what it is, too. Um, so, yeah, we got this guy pretty much done. Pat got it all wrapped up today, um, waiting on some stuff to do the uh, carb swap. Got some really bright lights in that guy. That, we got the ZS190. The bright lights are in the other one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they are. Yeah. We got the ZS190. Um, pretty close. The motor's in. We got to modify the pipe a little bit. Uh, Skyler's got the oil cooler all dialed in. We're getting new forks for it as well. New shocks. Uh, got to do the clutch cable uh and then you've got the whole different cluster and headlight and all that good stuff so uh zuma 2022 i don't know about those things man i kind of like them but then they're kind of ugly at the same time so um th this this one is turning out really cool man this playstation one really 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 cool super amped about this one got a crazy bright led on it we've got some really nice led blinkers as well uh you you can this thing is just, this thing's wicked. Magura, sweet Magura Masters on here. Drill oh, tech. we're going to have to, you're going to, oh, the, look at those fix the relay, right? Boom. Yeah, look at the blinkers. So give, them the, give them the old left and the right. Really, really cool. Um,
it's got no brakes on it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you have one brake? That brake feels really good, too. That's good. Sounds good. So that one should be around 20. So last time dynoed the RC1, it was Dion's. You're gonna see a lot of misinformation on what these bikes make. They don't make, like they don't, they don't make 30, they don't make 35 wheel horse, unless you're doing like crazy race fuel, crazy porting. I don't even think, I don't even think you're gonna get high 20s. High 20s, yeah, so. With the Molosi ignition. It was Dion's 26, right? 26 with the MVT. 26 on an MVT, so yeah. it's pretty common, that's realistic. MVT. This is a 94. Um, we're waiting on the, this is just a GP1 wheel we threw on here in the time being because we're waiting on the back wheel to get powder coated. Once that back wheel is powder coated, um, we just have the under part here to put on. We've got the sides to put on, um, the seat, which is all brand new. Tunnels. The tunnels to put on, and then it'll be be good. But it, it actually turned out really good. Yeah, the wrap's nice. Yeah, so he's got one piece here he needs to do still, but yeah. a lot of work. Paul, how much work is putting together and building an SR50 from scratch with a complete custom wiring harness, fuel too lines, much, coolant lines? Too, too much work. It's a lot of work, guys. Um, so yeah, whole lot of work. Uh, next giveaway is happening right now, actually. It's, uh, we went over it a little bit. It's this, it's this spike here. It's this uh, Techno Air towel jet. Really cool bike, it's my sister-in-law's bike. Uh, she crashed really hard. Why 70 over, it's a 94. That's not a 70. And then we have this uh, uh, Rupp house that has a 110 Rattler motor swapped in it. So really cool, it has like every NCY bar and everything on it. Um, it has 17. 17 miles. 17 miles on that on that bike, right? 20, like that. I bought it brand new. I, I bought it brand new. And then I got this good idea. I'm like, I'm going to pull the motor out. And I'm going to put a race motor in it. And then I pulled the motor out. And how long did it sit on the shelf? Like two years. Two years. And then uh, we decided to put a motor in it. So that we found from a homeless person, actually. He was a homeless. He owned a motor home. Yeah, he wasn't a homeless. He had a motor home. So he had, technically. He had a nice motor home. He's like. He's, uh, is no, motor, 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 home, motor, no. he's motor homeless. <laughs> so he's not motor homeless, he has a motor home. Sure. It's been a while. I wish I had money to buy stuff like that. What? Like that. Me, oh, me yeah. too. <laughs> uh, this one, actually, if you guys know the company Blosion, they do all the jet ski stuff. I'm sure you do if you're into the motorsports um, industry. This is the owner, brought this guy in. Um, this is a Marini. Die tech problems, of course. Uh, but really, really clean. We're not doing die techs anymore. No, we're not doing die techs anymore. We're basically, um, we're just one. buttoning up. We're just doing that for him because he's cool. Yeah, so we just, we're not doing the die techs anymore. We're just doing this because he's a, he's a, a good dude and um, we're working with him. So this is a really good customer too with these two bikes. But aside from that, we're just, we're done with the Ditex. These are some super clean yellow CH80s. He's got a busted headset. He's getting wheels and stuff going on there. Um, but yeah, what, uh, what are you doing here, Paul? Pull the motor. Pull the motor out? Um, it's been a while. I, I haven't really pulled one of these in here. Have you ever pulled the motor? Hey, nice cat, nice cat sticker. Where'd you get it? Uh, I don't know your daughter's website. My daughter has a website. She sells cat toys, and Paul doesn't have a cat. But he bought this. I bought toys. Best pipe for a 05 Zuma 70 kit, 21 millimeter carb. Uh, there is no way to answer that because we don't know what. Uh, you should buy the, the racing exhaust. <laughs> uh, so, um, so yeah, there's so. 
We go over this all the time, guys. You can have a you can have an eight horsepower seventy kit. You can have a twenty two horsepower seventy kit. There is no such thing as a bet the best exhaust for a seventy because every seventy is different. For instance, we have a pull the deal out. We have a Jog ninety motor here, ninety cc. Right? You'd think it'd make power. It makes seven wheel horse guys. So it's not all about cc um, because it was built by somebody who shouldn't be allowed to touch any tools at all. Um, so again. 90 cc making seven wheel horse when you can have a 70 cc rc1 or an mhr making 20. um so somebody asked about the do not for sale uh this one uh rear disc brake on pre-bug yep we have no we don't have any kits because the last oh. one's going on my bike yeah sorry uh it is but this bike i purchased i think oh man i don't know five six years ago no, seven. I don't know. It was a long time ago. This is a bike uh, that was my first DIY imported piece by piece, or it was one whole bike, but it's ripped apart from the Philippines. Long time ago. I've done Ferry to Ferry with it. I've done Super Sunday with it. It just has a Corsa, Melosi uh, crank, very nothing crazy, just all bolt on stuff. Um, wood jammer pipe, 24 millimeter carb. But it's pretty hard to find, to find fairings like this and skirts that are clean. And that are all factory and OEM. Hey, remember that time Pat dropped a lift? Yeah, on Pat it? dropped a lift on it at one point. Um, didn't he blame? He blamed the lift. He blamed the lift. That's right. Yeah, uh, watching like we did the RRGS wheels, which I would not recommend because they actually have an aluminum spline, and the first time you put them on, they do, and they're like twelve hundred dollars. The first time you put them on, the hardened steel spline will actually start to gouge out the aluminum on the wheel. So I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. This seat is not cut down. Um, not that I know of. It came on the bike. Uh, Windjammer, yes, is absolutely worth it. Um, however, we had so many that um, I have the Baja still. It's my wife's bike technically, but I'm going to – I have a lot of bikes at home that are just – they're there. But her brake line actually, after the last video we did, I was riding it, and I squeezed it, and the brake line just, just went – exploded. And that was back in July. <laughs> So I need to bring it in, get that bike going. It just needs a brake line, but it's tried and true. It has an arrow on it. It's a good bike. Um, but yeah, this one, I, I think all I need to do with this is just, we stole some, didn't we steal something for Zach West? Like a rotor spacer bolt or spacer or something. or something? We stole something for a customer, took it off this bike because we needed it. That's all I have to do for this one. Um, yeah, Baja, Baja's awesome. So yeah, this one needs to go back together at some point, but I've had this bike I had a Tillotson on it, and it was ferry to ferry, and I had it, at, no, Super Sunday, I had it like 82 miles an hour, 83 something at one point, so it does rip. Um, recommending replacing the crank on a pre-bug with 7,500 miles. Um, depends on how hard you ride it and what you're gonna do with it. I will say, yeah, may as well. if you have a drum style pre-bug, um, sure worse. thing, Zach. They're different cranks. Are they? Uh -huh. So if you have a drum style pre-bug, guys, like this, I would, I would, I can say with confidence, probably 85% of them need crank seals. They all have leaks and they have worse cranks in them too. So if you have an older drum style pre-bug, the cranks don't. Yeah. Uh, for the wrist pin, uh, it doesn't have that. So they fail pretty frequently. Okay. Um, yes. When jammer's worth it. So yeah, uh, if you have an older pre-bug, the drum style, do crank seals and your crank is going to be, uh, it's going to be short lived because they're just, they're really weak. Um, so yeah, also something kind of fun. You guys probably haven't seen these yet. I had a buddy in Italy actually find me these race paoli forks, adjustable dampening, rebound, all that good stuff. I just took them apart and went through them. They all look really good. So, um, these are going to go on my booster, which I am going to start eventually. So super amped about those actually have some really high quality, legitimate performance forks, not like Taiwan or whatever to actually have really high-end forks. So super amped about that. Um, so I'll probably shut this off before I start on this, but I'm going to tear into uh, this pre-bug motor, which is going to be the base, which is going to be the motor for the booster that I'm going to build. So these are priority, but customers' bikes are already prior, always priority. That one, this one, and the Aerox are the, uh, can I make a cheap 3D print pressure test kit? No. The problem is, guys, with the, th so 
3D printing is never going to be good for an airtight, super good fit, right? You can use Delrin, but guess what? Delrin is expensive, is as expensive as Billet because Delrin contains petroleum, right? So my machinist literally tells me it doesn't make any sense to do it out of Delrin because it's the same price. Um, tooling time is about the same. Um, is that new? What is the pre-bug? Yeah, pre-bug is the old school. Um, the pre-bug is the old school uh, first generation Zuma. But so get this, guys. Um, this stuff is pretty cheap, right? Billet is not super too expensive. These pumps, these pumps, the pressure test kits, the price nearly tripled. Uh, it, TKA Tadpole scooter. Uh, maybe it will eventually turn into a frog. No, I would not buy a Tadpole. Sorry. Uh, I'm not trying to be rude or anything, but let me ask Paul. Maybe Paul would buy a Tadpole. Hey, Paul. Somebody asked if what do we think about the TKA Tadpole scooter? You know what I said? I said, hopefully it turns into a frog. Yeah, tadpoles turn into <laughs> they frogs. They turn into frogs, yeah. yeah. Uh, I wouldn't buy a bike called a Tadpole because of I mean, the odds that it's I mean, a good bike. What do you mean? If it's named after an animal, it's probably a pretty good scooter. If it's named after like... Yeah, but an ice bear is an animal. Well, an ice bear is not a real animal, though. Um, yeah, it's a polar bear, bro. There's no such thing as an ice bear, Paul. Yeah, there is a polar bear. Yeah, it's the a white... The That's a bear. polar bear, not an ice bear. Two different things. I mean, ice bear is just another way. Paul drove the Cadillac today. He saw me almost beat up an old man today. Yeah. Oh, yeah, drove the Cadillac. Paul drove oh. the Cadillac. How'd it feel? Felt good. He looked like a little kid in Dad's car. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, I'm trying to get this bolt out. Paul's trying to get a bolt out. That should help him. I don't remember what I was talking about. Uh, I don't know. I don't remember anymore. Where are we? Where are we? You need a hand, Paul? I'll help you. Oh, no. What'd you do? You, hey. you still have your oil pump in I here. Know, it's, I, I never built this. Hey, before. Boston Scooter Mom said Paul rode an ice bear when he lived here. No, I didn't. <laughs> Just send pictures, please. He did. No, I never owned no? a Chinese scooter, actually. No? No. Thinking about it, and I haven't. No. Nope. Remember the time you bought that stroker? I said, "Paul, don't buy it. That's don't buy it. Don't buy it." And how long did it last? It's like forty miles. <laughs> I don't buy it, Paul. And he bought it, and it blew up. I'm like, I know that motor is not gonna last at all. Hey, Torx bits? bits, probably. Um, it's five out. What do you got going? I'm not. I don't know what you got going on here. You want a cylinder, Paul? You want me to get your Athena? Yeah. That thing's rad. I was going to pick this bike up next week. Um, so yeah, John helped us out big time. We had the whole OEM wall and a bunch of product that he helped us go through. And I think John said he found like $9,000 worth of product that we didn't even have. Yeah, exactly. That's a nitrous bike. You're talking about the, the deal, right? That's when I told him not to buy. I did it anyways. Um, the nitrous bike, right? <clears throat> yeah, he has asked about the nitrous bike. Yeah, I know. And that's the one I told him not to buy. Yeah, the, yeah, it didn't last. Legally no. owned, legally owned and owned are different. Paul didn't steal scooters. No, I never stole scooters. No, he had friends that did though. No. Yeah, right. Um, I'm trying to get this bolt out. You got this, Paul? Ooh, you know, I know what to show him. So yeah, John went through, did all of our inventory. Uh, yes, we do have Athena cylinder kits. There's one right here. This is the brand new one that just came out. We have like eight, I think. Ten? Ten? Maybe. I know he's got them. Oh, the pre-bug. Boys, I'm upset that I agreed to give that pre-bug away because it is so clean. It is so clean. It angers me um, that, <laughs> no offense, but it angers me that we're giving it away. Uh, liquid cooled bikes do not rev faster. They make more power because the coolant can absorb the heat, right? So it runs cooler so they can make more power at the end of the day. So, um, so yeah, oil, air cooled, you're never really going to see more than maybe 20, 21 horsepower, something like that. Uh, liquid cooled, you can obviously get into the thirties and whatnot. No problem because that the coolant is going to absorb that heat, allowing you to run more aggressive, um, timing and, compression and squish and all that good stuff because it's going to be colder so um lc liquid cooled liquid cooled and air cooled d doesn't 
You can literally take... You're not going to rev higher liquid cooled. It has nothing to do with that. It has to do with the, the bike is going to make more horsepower because it can be more aggressive. Think about, you guys know like turbo cars, supercharged cars. Um, detonation is what is your limitation on power when you get pre-detonation, right? Heat's what, what causes that detonation and boost and high compression. So that's why turbo cars and supercharged cars, the colder they run, intake temps are lower. You can make more power, run more timing. So in theory, you can be more aggressive with a liquid cooled board because that coolant is gonna cool the cylinder down so you don't get that detonation. Detonation is what kills these, these bikes. So yeah, if that makes sense. But um, yes, yeah, so John went through all this stuff. And like I said, he found like $10,000 worth of just like random tons of stuff that he put back into inventory um so we got that stuff all dialed and one thing i'm working on which i'm not sure if i ever showed you guys uh this thing is great by the way we were actually shoving gaskets in here our paper shredder gaskets that we just like don't want to deal with and it's just shredding gaskets and everything so that's been like my personal favorite anybody needs a brand new jog stem we've got one floating around there um this puppy here Instead of using extra cooling, extra fuel for cooling, you can get the correct air fuel ratio with AC, LC. Um, this dude, I'm trying to produce. Let me know what you guys think, you pre-bug guys. There is actually nothing made for the pre-bug for storage. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Oh, yeah. Boom, check that out. Um, this was like $1,200 worth of to have this one prototype designed and made. We sent out this panel, had it scanned, had somebody make a full prototype. It fits an oil bottle in here. This is what I want to do, but I think the production, I think I have to make a couple thousand of them. So not, not super sure, but the pre-bug has no storage. This is 3D printed, yeah, uh, which obviously this is just a prototype to test fit everything. So it would be injection molded um, if we did that. I didn't 3D print it. It was just really expensive. To, to do because the guy 3d scanned the panel and everything um good, jog i'd love to do jog bill but we don't there's no how many jogs have you seen pop up for sale there's here one, there's one yesterday but it was a vertical how um, many horizontal no title not running who wants 700 <clears throat> bucks i told him four and he's like oh well if i get running will you give him 12 and i was like no i'll give you four it doesn't have a title and he's like oh well i sold it for 700 anyway yeah, so 700 for vertical. I've maybe seen one horizontal jog pop up here. Um, so it's something I definitely I, like to do. We try to buy scooters, but we actually have jobs and stuff. And then yeah. other people who don't want us to buy these scooters, buy them instead. Um, no, not saying any names. I'm not, sure I, I'm not sure I follow, but yeah. You know who. Do I? Um, so yeah, I this isn't something i would 3d print i would mass produce it and i would have an injection molded um but again you're talking probably you're probably talking twenty thirty thousand dollar investment to do that this stuff is really expensive um super expensive to make so not not super sure on that one but it's it's neat so we do a lot of things like that what temp should a big board se50 run uh so any air-cooled bike <clears throat> guys this is actually probably a good time to go over this. Air-cooled bikes, you want to keep it. The, the happy spot I, I like to be in is about 350 to 375 max, max temp. Um, you can be as low as like 320, 325, something like that. Um, however, however um, if you get down in like the high 200s, wide open, you're going to eventually foul plugs. Like that bike is in like the high 200s, not this Paul's pedal bike, but this bike is in the high 200s and it definitely goes through and, and, and fouls plugs and whatnot. Also, <clears throat> Boston Scooter Mob, just so you, since you asked, this bike is going to my CNC guy and we're going to make a 12 o'clock bar for the back, a full billet, two billet size and um, two billet sides and a center part and like a spot for like a, a Delrin puck or whatever on the back. So that is coming. I would say probably in a, probably a couple months, we're going to have that ready. <clears throat> I'm just going to hand him the whole bike and we're just going to make a bunch of parts for it. Um, the other thing I want to make for the pre-bug guys, this fender that existed a long time ago um, doesn't exist anymore. I want to get those remade because they're really cool. But yeah, guys, so you can survive. You can, you'll be fine at 300 or something. You'll be fine. Um, but <clears throat> But depending on how you ride, how hard you ride, if you're doing a lot of stop and go, a lot of cruising, you could load up and foul a plug. Temp gauges? What? Temp gauge, what's that? Temp gauges. <clears throat> so liquid cooled bikes, you just wanna you just wanna be like the twin. I like to be around like 
if I 180 is about the area where I go, okay, this is a little a little hot um, for coolant. Uh, yeah, Skyler Skyler went to a concert last night, and I'm I told him, hey man, if you're not gonna be with it, then you gotta take the day off. Um, so he did, but uh, built sliders and guards. You mean like these guys? Those Polini guards, we have those sliders. I think we're gonna make again. Also, we have these small steel ones for really cheap. Um, and they they literally, I wrecked this bike about two weeks ago because <clears throat> the previous owner tires trying the tires. And I blame Paul for it, but he didn't actually do it. These have saved my bike twice and they're cheap. We have them, they're like 14 bucks for the set. They're really cheap. You can put them on the front too. Paul, Paul runs them. <clears throat> Paul runs the MD, MD pegs too, right? Yeah, they're in the fan trap. And, and that helped you too, right? Oh, they saved this bike a few times. They're uh, really good. Yeah. You gotta drill them out. <clears throat> I'll see you have about 89. So I do have the 2T, the 2TR cylinder. My uh, guy, Joe, has it. He's sending it to Millennium to get plated. To be honest with that cylinder, guys, I've just lost like so much motivation with because I think it's just been like three years so it's been hard to get motivated back into it um so i gotta i gotta have him send it to millennium they're gonna plate it and then it has to get an exhaust port uh the studs and everything for the exhaust have to be get machined um but that's probably it i mean still probably honestly six months to a year out to getting produced but <clears throat> if we make it it works it's going to be a, probably a $300 kit and it will probably make three to four horsepower more than a Corsa and they'll get, they'll have no problem getting like an AF16 or a Dio um, <clears throat> to, you know, 80 miles an hour with the right pipe, no problem. So I prefer synthetic. My personal, um, actually let's go over some of this stuff here. Um, this stuff is awesome. Really, really good, of course. Don't use that because I don't clean chains. That stuff's good, of course. I like the 800. I like the 927. Um, and then I like the Golden Spectro, but the only reason I like the Golden Spectro is because that's what I grew up with as a kid with my, um, with my three-wheelers and stuff. So that's why I like Golden uh, Spectro. What'd you do? <clears throat> I got the motor. Uh, so one of the bolts in the frame for the peg is stripped out, so I just didn't pull it up. What do you guys think about it? Escuta SX sounds like Chinese, maybe. Uh, it has more than one X in the name of the scooter. It has so one X. It has one X. Yes. How many numbers? Oh, it's let's see here. Three. It has. It's an SX two fifty E. It sounds like a Chinese bike. Okay. Yeah. yeah. SX two fifty E. Sounds like that one we had in here. Remember that Chinese bike we had in here? Yeah, that's a Chinese bike. Which one, yours? Yeah. Is it? No, oh, they're all Chinese. PK Ripper's Chinese? I think so. That's sad. I, I mean, it's a really nice bike, but... We should put uh, electric scooter. I don't know. Uh, we don't really deal with electric no. scooters here. We should put NCY forks on this. No. Let's put scooter wheels on your bike. No. No? I'm gonna get nice wheels. Too. They are nice wheels. Are they? They look nice to me. No. Dang, you didn't even take your reflectors off? No, that's the first to. thing you do. I know, I need to. That's the first thing you do. Hey, no. you should get the beads that go up and down. You know what I'm talking about? The ones that go doo -doo 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 as you ride. Sorry. You should put them on your pre-bug. Anybody want Paul's reflectors? Oh, you're struggling. You first want me to do it for you? No, I got it. You want me to do it for you? Oh, you're going to break your spoke. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to break your off? spoke. Oh, you're gonna break your spoke. Yeah, I am. Yeah, just leave it there. Yeah. That looks good. You just have one. Oh, good cut, good throw, Paul. All right, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna work on my motor here. Um, uh, so jogs, we will not be doing jog fairings. Um, we thought about it. We thought about it, but. We, we thought about it just to do it to be funny, but. Rough house stretch kit, I'm just gonna be blatantly honest with you guys, we'd sell two a year. Would we sell two a year? Maybe. We'd sell two a year. So there's a lot of things that you think you would... make one. You. <laughs> there's a lot of things, guys, that you would think would sell really well, but they don't. Uh, no, I, don't I, have, <clears throat> I think I've spoken with one other person who wanted to stretch the reference. Do you remember those deal fairings we had upstairs? 
I don't even, I never want to see Dio Ferrings again. You know how it took us like it took three like years. three years to sell them, and we were the only ones in the United States. We had issues with them too. But they were cheap. They were a good deal. The all reproduction ones are never gonna be like OEM, but they were a really good deal. They were really yeah. Paul's colorblind. We learned. Um, so because yeah, I sent everyone the wrong. Color. <laughs> he did happen because he's colorblind, which he failed to tell me. I think until, until long time. Until oh, let's test. Let's test Paul. What? Paul, what color is this tape? It's blue. You're not colorblind. What color is this? Red. Are you colorblind just when you want to be? So it's certain shades of like red, then purple and pink and stuff. Do you see any purples over here? You don't see any purples over here? <laughs> what color is your bike, Paul? <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is purple. Um, this is purple. I definitely thought it was blue for a while. It's definitely purple. Yeah, you still have the googly eyes on here? What did you do? What did you tape over them? What do you mean? There's like plastic. Wait, don't pick at it. It's silicone. They're waterproof. <laughs> it's still, I, I went to Marshalls and I bought googly eyes that and then I cut them down to size, and then I silicone them on there. That you got, was here when I did. You got a new scooter in the can? What? Or what is this? What's Oil? It? Uh, it's some... I don't know. These, I need new OEM fairings. I'm, I'm trying to get maroon next. Like yours was? Nah. Yeah, my... Uh, God, I got a guy wants to trade. <clears throat> I got a, like, new not OEM ones for his set. You should. Yeah. Looks pretty good. Nice work here, Paul. I wonder how your cylinder looks. SC1. Um, he said SC1. He knows about new scooter in the can. Paul Paul crashed. Okay. We did a vest. We did a Vino here, and Paul crashed pretty hard and ripped his arm wide open. Yeah. And, uh, and then... And it was all scratched. Oh, I have videos. It was... I'm not even going to show them. It was really bad. There were big white scratches on the side of this guy's scooter. And it was, like, bad. No cracks in the panels, though. But on the front fender, on the sides... Big white scratches. I take this. I take a whole can of SC1. I spray it on there. I polish it all out, and you can barely tell the difference between, like, from five feet away, you can even tell there are scratches on it. And you deemed it what name? What? What do you call the? the new, well, it says new bike in a can. On new it. scooter so in a can. It works really good. The it bike looked, looked awesome. It looked so much better, and I didn't have to buy this guy's scooter, and I didn't have to buy him new bearings. Yeah. Or paint. And you, we ended up doing all the labor for free and doing a bunch of. We did the labor yeah. for free. We gave him a deal on the parts because he got like a stage six clutch and a few other things. Um, there were white walls. I, I blame the white walls. But well, they were just slippery. But I, slippery. yeah, I ate crap on my pre bug. Um, yeah, but just as. A, I ate crap on my pre bug when I bought it and the previous owner tire shined it. I think do they um Stage Six doesn't even make this game anymore, do they? Uh they do. Do it's they? Poli it's the same as Polina. No, look at the side. It's totally different. Oh, they don't make this one specifically anymore. Yeah. It's got some some old stuff on it. So Okay. You guys got any more questions? Wanna see any more things here? I have I have like another ten bikes at my, my home because there's we're just we made we just expanded the online so there's not a whole lot of room here so um definitely not as many bikes here now because most of them what's it i don't even know what's there honestly At your house? yeah we have the adv adv t max yeah. the, the 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 passport oh you still have that yeah i have two ct ct 70s The SR, it counts as a Baja. bike. It's a full bike. SR, the Baja. You have three Tim's bikes. Two? Two of Tim, Tim's yeah. bikes. I have an Aerox, two pre-bugs, because we have the raffle pre-bug. Well, you, you have Tim's pre-bug, too. I have the CH150. You have Tim's bug eye. I have Tim's bug eye. You have Tim's Aerox. What else? That's it. Uh, there's more. Trans out. Trans, that, those don't, yeah, those don't even count. Husky. Best camping trail bike. Ooh. On the Transalp, got one for sale. Yeah, I got out for you. Uh, boy, that's a tough one. I almost think I almost think a Rough House would do pretty good because. Oh, in terms of scooter. Yeah. Or are we talking like big bike? A, if you're talking camping, if you're talking a scooter, talking it's scooter or big bug bike? Eye. Bug eye. No. Bug no. Bug eye. No bug eyes. Nah, I don't. I would do this because see, you got the the guards for the panniers on the side, and then you have all these bolt-on stuff here a, a, a rough house would be really good um like i said because you have all this stuff you've got the bigger knobbier tires um that would be a really good bike 
for doing that type of stuff because you've got the rack and everything. Um, the bug eye, you're not going to be able to put like pannier stuff on the side. That's why these are, are kind of nice for that um, reason. So, You have a KLR suite? I've got a, a 701 uh, Husky 701 LR. There's a carbon buildup outside the O-ring. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it was running good too. Oh, no, that's that's on the, or that's melted O-ring. Yeah, my O-ring just melted. Doesn't it's, look bad. Yeah, the crank makes some weird noises, but I think it's a variator. Take a listen. See? I mean... The crank's fine. Didn't you just replace it? The crank? No. Yeah. No. Brandon's not going to get to do anything on his own bike today, is he? Why do I always have to work? Why don't you hire get Cam Girl to come over and take some call her, videos? See uh, if she'll come over next Wednesday and just oh we could we could have her answer the questions. Oh, this would be great. She yeah. Can bring cookies too. You keep talking about cookies, cookies, but we haven't seen them yet. Yeah, I think there's an air leak. Oh boy. Who put it, this thing together? The pressure test is good though. It's not like you're like hard on this thing or anything. No, no, no. I'm gonna do it all weekend on the freeway. GY6 swap on my new ruckus. <laughs> um, no. Be aware that you will ruin the reliability and always have problems with it. As long as you're okay with that, just as long as you're okay with that, um, then then go for it. But you will just always have problems with it. Uh, we don't really, we won't take them in uh, GY6 ruckuses really in here because John does, sometimes. John does sometimes and then he ends up regretting, regretting it because it, it just... You're just dealing with a lot of Chinese stuff that just doesn't work right. So, um, so you're doing gears. You're putting stock. You have stock gears. I have stock gears. Yeah, stock gears. Yeah. Good. And Jacob. Jacob Schwark, he's a man. Yeah, I got a Molosi um, thingy too. Got gear cover. So if I'm you guys, if you guys want GY6 kept stock, GY6? can I use stock ECU and turnkey for three plus years? The odds that that bike will be reliable for three years are about two percent. If you do it, no. If you do it right, it'll stay semi-reliable. You still need to learn how to work on it. The biggest, I'd say, the biggest issue with GY sixes is wiring issues. Wiring issues. Exhaust. <laughs> okay, no, no. The biggest issues to GY six ruckuses are CVT, electrical, fueling is an issue. Uh, Anything you change is going to be an issue. Yeah. Anything that's not OEM Honda. Yeah, just it, uh, it's just you're replacing with something Chinese. Too bad, honestly. Sell it, sell it to somebody right here, right now. Paul's personal, Paul's what is it, Corsa? Yeah, it's Corsa. Paul's personal Corsa <laughs> kit right here on sale, hundred dollars. Yeah, I found the plug the other day. Um, I think I heard it a little bit. What crank you running here? Game with the bike. Two fifty ruck. That sounds like fun. No. Do we have any SC fifty pipes in stock? We sure do. Uh, uh, feels fine. The yeah. crank feels good. Yeah. yeah, we have SC50 pipes. We have like, s no. Oh, like 60 probably. 60 or something, 70, something like that. I think we have more coming though. We have yeah. the Slick Lilies coming soon. Sounds like a garbage can with wheels. What? I'm not sure, but it's funny. Ruckus? Probably, maybe. <clears throat> the Big Ruckus is a great motor. They're hard to work on. Oh man, are they? You gotta like pull the whole motor off, out to change the valves. You need to pull this. Oh, why, why did you not pull this? Oh, TT says he'll buy it. Did I miss the burnouts? No, Brandon, you're supposed to show up and do the burnouts. Um, <coughs> I, uh, I may not sell this. It depends how I like the Athena. So, it may be in the future. Look how much grease is on this. You can't even tell us Polini. Probably counterfeit. Who sold you this kit? I didn't buy this kit. Uh, the Big Boar SC50. We don't have any of those pipes on display, do we? You have one? No, that's a that's a spree pipe. You do? Oh, let me just get back here. Oh, that's that's what running on the uh, SE50. Um, we've got a bunch of them in stock. They just they're both on, both on and go. Jetting, of course, roller tuning, but we stock those, and we are the only people that stock those. There's one other design. 
pipe. Um, two others, no. Two of ours. We're gonna have three pipe. We're gonna have, how do we, yeah. we do this? Yeah. Yep. So we, I don't really want to get into that, really. Uh, yeah, we should like, you should, if you want to actually get stuff done, we should wrap this up soon. I know. I need, uh, to, I need to work. Yeah, any more questions? Where, where am I going to build my, where am I going to build the? We're going to pull this bike off the lift. Are we? Yeah. Okay. All right, boys. I'm going to shut it down. Uh, thanks for watching. If you guys want to keep doing the Wednesday things, just let us know. And uh, yeah, well, we'll set it up where... Um, Shane, are you asking about the ruckus? Let me see here. No, no ruckus. No, he's asking how to, what to do with it. Um, uh, oh, yeah. Hey, you know what's awesome? What's really awesome is we make our own CP pilots now. And if you guys know... What? Did we? I don't remember. I don't know where they are. Uh, yeah, so Polini, was, they were the only ones that made the CP uh, pilots. And we make them now, which is really, really cool. And believe it or not, I think other websites are selling the Polini CPs for $30. And we're like 22 for these. So, um, uh, no, we are $15. We're $15. So, we're, so our, our CP pilots are literally half the price yes. of other stores. So, are way less. Uh, and... Main jets from Polini. Those, not uh, those two, but specifically these ones are thirty dollars from Polini. Thirty bucks. Eighteen here. Yep. Eighteen here. We have Delordo. We have OEM Honda. Get uh, twelve of those for. I think those are a little bit more. They cost us a little bit yeah. more. Yeah. Uh, we have. Oh. oh. Scratch and dent sale right there. Right there. Um. Nice. So yeah, guys, uh, we do have, do you have more range S23 mains? I think they just go with 128, PWKs. Oh, no, we don't, not what's, yet. What's this one right here? 120, 138. Those are, what are those? Oh, we do have those. Psh, probably don't even know. I we do. Know we have those. Um, are those on the website? <laughs> are they? Are they? Hmm, that's a good question. <laughs> so guys, again, this is our brand. We have it made, our specification. Our, so... Do us a favor and get the stuff out here. Buy it when you can because we're we're basically sending. Is it online? What is it online? I don't look. I oh, don't really I don't think so. We may have to fix that. Can can we list off all the things that we're going to be producing? Um, side stands for Honda. Please, side stands for Prebugs. Uh, we got um, brake cables. Those GY6 swing arm thingamajigs. We got springs. We got CH80 parts. We have CH80 exhaust. CH80 lowering kits. We, we have lots. CH80 lots of parts. variators. Uh, I don't know. We have lots. We have a lot. I can't even remember. Bug eye forks. Bug eye forks. Uh, this is all, all the stuff we're making. This is stuff we're sending to prototype to, to see if it's worth making. We looked into temp gauges. We looked into making our own air filters with 90s and 45s That's on them. Right? Hopefully, uh, hopefully. I think we made our own DO yeah, intake do you manifolds. Want to, do you want to look at exactly what's coming and then we can Is it the plug on the right or left of the CP? Uh not super sure what you're referring to. If you're talking about the pilot, it's a small one. But it's one off center. Yeah. But like we're saying, guys, all the stuff is really, really, really nice and uh and it's just all the stuff is awesome, shock risers and, and all this good stuff. And I actually, cool story about these, um, made these years ago and then had them revised and changed. And we eventually took ours and just sent it, um, sent it out and uh, and had it replicated. These 90s, what was Pelini's retail in these 90s? $20, $18 and we're like 10. 10. So what's awesome about this is the more stuff, um, roller tuning kits, those are like... 16 bucks or something like that we're gonna yeah, be making so we're gonna be basically doing CDIs, redoing this kit yeah intakes clutch springs cdis for honda intakes for honda intakes for bug eye um, contra springs yeah sorry, adjustable clutches okay, we have we intake manifold adapters to adapt a four bolt onto a honda spree so or a, coming right now is we're gonna have motor mounts we have intakes axles Clutch springs for Honda and Yamaha. Uh, those spiky nuts in a three pack. Uh, we're gonna have roll, our own roller tuning kits. Um, Better ones we're too. We're gonna have quick throttles, non needle yeah, bearing. Yeah, that's right. Course. I can't remember all um, stuff. We're gonna have uh, boots for stage six intakes because they're back order. Yep. So we got some of those coming. We got CDIs coming. Uh, some more rollers. Uh, looks like we have. Thanks, D Marshall. D 
steel intakes. We have uh, mini rotor kits. We have uh, exhaust for the Dio. The You're right. 70cc. Those are, yep. uh, that's a pretty popular design too. People, yep. run, people have been running those for years, but they're really expensive and hard to yep. get. And we got those. Uh, we have the two bolt to four bolt adapter and the slick wheelie for aero. It's a lot. So every week. That's, that's stuff that's already <clears throat> like in the works on its way. So last week, Paul and I took apart a pre-bug front end. Thanks, Jacob Schwark, for helping us with that. We took the factory springs. Paul cut down some Delrin spacers to basically add more preload to the yep. front of the springs. It helped a ton. Um, so we're sending the springs out to have them replicated <clears throat> for this style bike. So we're going to make replacement springs for this OEM, these OEM forks, so that way the guys that are still riding them and still rocking them can actually get some, some travel. Oh, also, really cool if you have a pre-bug, you know you cannot get the upper lower races and bearings. They do not exist. We probably spent two $300 on buying them and they never work. Those are coming. So big, I mean, that it's a small thing, right, guys? It's a small part, but it's huge because we're literally making parts for these bikes to keep them on the road. Parts you cannot get anymore. The races, the bearings and races for these. Oh, uh, you can get them. They're really hard to get from you. Well, you have to buy every ball individually. You have to oh. buy every ball. So this one. Yeah, that's, that's, <clears throat> if you buy it directly from Yamaha, that's true. Um, but last time what I did is I, I measured the balls and I went on eBay and I bought a bunch of little balls. So we're gonna get like it's a pain bags. in the butt. Yeah. yeah it's a pain. So, uh, disc brake stems for pre-bug. I'm going to show you guys the problem. We're, we're, oh, they're, there's, they're on back order now, aren't they? Didn't uh, you? Well, I'm going to have some in two weeks. I'm going to have four in two weeks. Okay. Um, no, they kept sending us the wrong ones. I wouldn't even okay. get into that. Yeah. Usually, like, wrap this we, up. we have, we have them over there. They keep sending, sending us the wrong woods. So they just are just scrap metal. So, um, Oh, 40% yeah. All right, dude. So yeah, thanks for the love. Subscribe, share, get our stuff out there. It really helps us. Um, yeah, it, it helps us big time. Keep us busy. Keep yeah. us going. And in order for us to keep making this, all of our cool stuff here, mm -hmm. buy it, post it, share it, because it really yeah. does help. We're literally sending yeah. a package every single week. Pretty much every. Yeah, we sent them last week. We sent them every week. And when we get stuff in, it's quantities of of one hundred to five hundred at a time. So we yeah. literally have this stuff. We have enough inventory for like anywhere from one to, to two and a half years so that's what's really cool about it this stuff you will not see this stuff go out of stock so it we'll give it you guys a lot of money too for us to get all this stuff yeah i we i mean probably spent 130 we'll probably spend one hundred fifty thousand dollars just on this, this stuff this year not polini melosi just on our own brands probably 150 grand in the last six months that we've spent so it's really expensive Oh no! Oh no! We're gonna we're not gonna do that yet. We've got some good stuff coming Black Friday, don't we? Yeah, we went over it. Earlier. We we bought a bunch of really we spent, cool things. We spent a really lot of amount of money yeah, on but we are gonna have some things that are cheaper than we pay for. Yes, almost. we're gonna have a lot of things. We have what 150 yeah, cylinders coming 150 just for Black cylinders. Friday. Just for Black Friday, we have like 80 CP, 90 carbs, 90 carbs Polini carbs. Um, we're gonna have tops kits. We're gonna get a bunch of those. So we're we're, we're probably gonna specifically order around probably three hundred items of just maybe quantities of five. Um, what do you mean? Just saying, like some of we're gonna so we're gonna be putting some stuff up that is at cost or at less at less than our cost for Black Friday, and it's all name brand, awesome, killer stuff. Paul, you look concerned. Uh, uh, I got a text message from a 401 number. I think it's Trey, but I'm not sure who. Oh. It's Rhode Island. Was it nudes? No, it says Lawrence. This you? Oh. Say. I said yes. Say send nudes. Maybe it's a fly honey. See, so that sounds like a really good idea till it's not. <laughs> what if it is them? Trey and then he <laughs> sends him to you? Uh, Black Friday equals old school derby. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to have... Tons of stuff here, guys. So I would save your ducats because we're going to have some stuff that is way cheaper than you will ever find online. So good stuff. What are you talking about? What? I just got four emojis. Did you? Oh, Beavis and Butthead poster. We're talking about buying a... Um... Hey, can we do Beavis and Butthead stickers? Limited run? Yeah. So good buddy Brandon Dell made this years ago. We made a limited run of these shirts. 
I wouldn't mind making another run of them again. It's super cool. He hand painted all this. Super awesome, dude. Um, not selling it because it's just too cool. We have too many. Julie, I love you. She is what keeps us going every day. Um, so, I, so yeah, uh, we have a lot of cool stuff in here. Joe, he sent us this. This is, ooh, you know what? No, he sent us this. He sent us this. Here we go. Check this out, boys. Exclusive right here. Sky, we had a Honda Gyro in here and What's Skyler. I forget. <clears throat> Ooh, well, no, we don't want to show that, do we? Do we? I don't uh, know. I think that's why she put him on there. She had a pink gyro in here that that was in really bad shape, and Skyler ended up buying it, and then she sent us pictures of her on this gyro, and they are so great. We want to turn them into stickers. So I don't, this is like some um, 90s like glamour. This yeah. is like some 90s glamour shot type of stuff, but super cool lady. Uh, and, yeah, so these are just awesome. She was in her prime back yeah, then. Yeah, she's... Very attractive. So, uh, S23 is John, only... Is John has a crush 10% on is only um, S23. John, he does have a crush dude, on her as well. he was like... He, he, he went and picked this bike up and he came in. He's like, dude, she was so hot. It was funny. It was really what if John's cool. girlfriend's watching? Wow, Paul. Well, I mean... Wow. <clears throat> wow, Paul. Uh, it was great. He says, you and Brandon are too funny. Yeah. Um, okay. All right. We're gonna... Oh, hey. Hey. You guys, hey, let's you guys want to support Paul? Yeah, buy these stickers. Buy his Yamaha Jog Artistic Spec stickers. Yeah, we got them on the website. They're that's Paul's. They're like cool that's box. that's Paul's uh, Paul's jam. So yeah. I gotta make more <clears throat> stickers, but it's a lot of money. Anything you want to say before we go away? No, is there anything else we need to touch base on? We have I don't think so. No, that's that's you, the you trusty can't, Roomba. You can't show the sticker on no, it. I can't show the sticker. Can't show the sticker. That's our shop it. cleaning vacuum. And then we're sending it to uh, Trevor. Trevor over at uh, yeah, that's funny. down in Vegas because we have a new we have a new one. So yeah, Tyrone. What does that sticker do? Paul Charity? Yeah, your it keeps Paul running. Do we have anything in there? Oh, we have hot pockets. It keeps Paul running on hot pockets. Yeah, all day. Yep. All day. So all day. Uh, yeah, we got watch batteries in there. I think there's probably a crank in there too, and hot pockets. We hot smoked pockets. chicken with bacon smoke on chicken. top of it for lunch. That was pretty good. Yeah, it was pretty good. Oh, there's chicken right there. Is that? We need to probably throw that out. That was today. All right, boys. Thanks for watching. Uh, like we said, thanks for the support. We love it. Uh, we'll keep doing our thing. Next time, I'm going to find a way to actually, like, do some can stuff. You, can you do, like, a tripod setup or something? Have cam, your cam girlfriend come in. Tell her we'll, like, pay oh, her in, oh, like, yes. stickers or something. See if she wants to come in and just f record and see what she wants to do it. No, because then she could does, she can plug no, her channel on no, it. What if what if we did what if we did a collaboration where she did her live video here in the shop at the same time? Mm, yes. Yes. Okay, make it happen. Dude, she could like bring in a roulette wheel and everything. Oh, Ray Walsh at five bucks. Five bucks. Thanks, man. Damn, I'm about to go buy some ice cream. Well PayPal takes three dollars of that, so you got a two dollar ice cream budget. That's fine. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Yeah. What are you gonna buy for two dollars? Ice cream. What kind of ice cream are you going to buy? I don't know. Drumstick? No, I want to get one of those Spongebob ones. The, <laughs> Good the, lord. The fries. Hey, what's, somebody asked what's the story behind this sticker. Uh, I mean, it's, it's an iconic vehicle. Can you give us a Aloha Friday uh, talk about a bike? Not really. <laughs> He's not right. doing it. But uh, yeah, lie. these are Paul's stickers. Um, he See, because I do it on the camera and I think Pat takes them out, but he probably doesn't, so... No, they're all in there they're still. All in there. Yeah. Oh, hey, big shout out to Melosi. These are the stacks of stickers they send us, Nobody guys. Nobody else does that. Nobody else does it. This only Melosi. Uh, oh, hey, that's a good picture there. That'd be a good picture. Um, yeah, nobody else sends stickers like this. We literally get these every week. Pauline doesn't send them. Uh, stage six isn't. Does Stage six send us any stickers? No, they don't. Dude, I got the mega stash of Dutch Bros stickers right here. I'm about to put them on my website. Hey, believe it or not, guys, what are people are people paying for these? They're paying. Uh, like, they're, those are like two or three dollars a pop. There, there are some online. I, I <clears> in <throat> a group like of people selling Dutch Bros merchandise and like uniforms and stuff. The some of the older stickers go for like sixty dollars, and people buy them. Let's just remake them. Uh, people, no, Copyright. literally, there's people on eBay who may sell remade ones, and they go in the group and they're like, hey, this person's selling fake ones. Like, they literally, like, <sighs> they, like, authenticate the stickers. It's crazy. Yeah. I would say Melosi's definitely, probably, they, they're uh, the best. I Honestly, Plea is incredibly Plea's, good. They're... Uh, I don't know. No one <clears throat> responds to my emails. They only talk to Brandon. It's fine. Because, because I'm the boss.
Yeah, I, I email them, like, asking for warranties on stuff, and they just never respond. I mean, I got a long relationship with them. I know. Believe it or not, I was the first... Scooter Parts International was a Polini importer of the United States. They had proprietary rights over all the USA, and they started going downhill. They took everybody's money, and then we were actually the first people in the United States to get Polini. We were the mm-hmm. first dealer here to get Polini after... Um, after they opened it back up again. Um, I wouldn't say Melosi's better than Pony. I would say quality, quality is wise, the same. It's like, uh, <laughs> I mean, some stuff's better than others. For cast iron cylinders, Melosi's higher quality. Polini usually performs a little better, in my, in my experience. But Polini has nice nicosil, or nice aluminum bores, though. They do. Melosi does, too, though. You can't go wrong with either, either or. I like Melosi's cranks better. Uh, pipes really depends. Um, CVT stuff, usually Melosi is a little better. Um, yeah, I like the Melosi cl- So the, the, the uh, oh, nice. Six bucks, dude. Appreciate that. Yeah. Dang, we're both getting ice cream tonight. <laughs> so iron versus aluminum. Iron is good. Um, yeah. It, iron gives you more room for air, right? It's going to take longer to heat up, but it's also going to take longer to cool back down and you can bore it. Even though with these, you typically don't. Really more fit, aluminum right? is typically going to be single ring, so you're going to... Aluminum's more racing. Aluminum's more racing, single ring. It dissipates heat mm-hmm. better. Um, but if you get it too hot and you ruin that nicosil, then the whole bore is toast. So people don't typically bore these out because it's not worth it. It's just You just get a yeah, new cylinder. So cylinder. if you want more of a more horsepower, but not as much longevity, go with aluminum mm-hmm. single ring. These are nice. Cool. If you want... Uh, long-term reliability mm-hmm. and able being able to put a new piston and uh, rebuild it, then go with cast iron. That being said, my RT cylinders on my twin have been used and abused, written hard, and yeah. they're perfect. They're, they're great. As long as you know what you're doing, uh, it's yeah. pretty hard to break stuff. We got there, Paul. New gear cover for my Zuma. Check it out. Uh, it's not billet. Like, the Stage 6 one was billet and the Polini one's billet, but this one doesn't cost as much, and it doesn't use an O-ring. Which sounds like a worse <laughs> design. However, uh, we stock these gaskets. So, mm-hmm. realistically, yeah. um, I'd rather just replace this than wait a week for a new gasket. Yeah. All right. All right. We're in Build Motors. Thanks for watching, dudes. Yeah. I appreciate it. Uh-huh. Update soon. Update soon. Next, see you next week. Next week. Next week? Are we going to be here? Yes. All right. See you guys. Bye.